Hi guys, welcome to the short video about this grill mat set of six of these non-stick barbecue grill mats. You can see I've bought them in May. I've been thinking I would use them more, maybe for vegetables or fish or so on the grill, but it took me quite some time to try it. Of course, I didn't want to mess up some nice food from the grill when the family is hungry. But yesterday my wife decided to buy some salmon and I was really scared to grill it uh, directly on the grilling grates that it could fall down and so I decided to use this grill mat and so I wanted to show and talk about the result but it's not only about me but of course I'm also interested what's your experience with such grill mats if you're using them for what you're using them and how the result is you can see that here I think it's basically a, a standard thing nothing really special they are rather thin they say they are easy to use easy to clean reusable they are saying even healthier easier cleaner you can see for what they are using it for almost anything and of course you cannot only use it outside for gas grill you can also use it inside for an electric grill regarding the material they are saying it's 100 pfoa free material premium fiberglass coating whatever that is but now we have already the first disadvantage and here they are writing about the maximum temperature that it should not exceed 260 degrees Fahrenheit when it's used for more than 30 minutes and not exceed 400 degrees Fahrenheit uh, also not short term that's the big problem and how can you know how hot it really is I mean when you're using an electric grill of course yeah that's easy but when you're using it on a gas grill of course most of the grills have some kind of thermometer on top but they are not very reliable and then of course the question is what's going to happen when you exceed this temperature or the time which is allowed for this temperature what's going to happen then of course the price is not very expensive so we definitely cannot complain about the price and they are easy to put on even when they have been on a roll they are becoming flat pretty easy but they are pretty thin you can see when I try to uh, put some oil on it they are moving easily but I mean it's not very very difficult to put on some oil you have to be just a little bit careful so they are not moving too much but it's definitely not recommended to use very high temperature especially on a gas grill because you really cannot know how hot it really is so I've been using it just on the lowest temperature here and it looks like there was no problem you can see on the left side I've been using some chicken without this grilling mats but on the right side I've been using these grilling mats for the salmon and it worked really good the big advantage here at the moment when uh, putting it on the grill is that there is absolutely no risk that something can fall down or even the whole thing could fall down and of course even more after five or ten minutes here it's after 10 minutes when I've been flipping these salmon pieces over yeah I messed up this one here a little bit but it has nothing to do with the grilling mats the grilling mats here worked really good did a good job there was absolutely no problem no sticking absolutely perfect I have no clue how it would have been without applying some oil but I guess it wouldn't have been a problem anyway but I want to make sure that they are not sticking what we can see here maybe it's a little bit far away but we can definitely see that the fish was then like almost like cooking in its own juice yeah it makes it maybe a little bit more juicy but definitely it's also a little bit preventing from uh, getting some color you can see I mean it's uh, already a little bit dark but you can see on the chicken there's definitely some color but I also didn't want to use a uh, super high uh, heat here on the left side because I was fearing that it could cause some damage on the grilling mats here on the right side so I had it almost all the time 
on the lowest heat and only on the very left side. I have increased the burner heat to maximum for short time to apply a little bit of color to the chicken. And on the right side you can see the fish came really nicely from this mat. Unfortunately again it's a little bit dark. But the question is then also how was the result? It was actually not bad. But I mean there was definitely not much color on it. Almost zero. I think it would be pretty hard to heat it up so it will get some color and then you are probably in a temperature range which could be not safe anymore and also the question is then what's not safe what would happen to these grilling mats could there be some material unwanted uh, material transferred from the grilling mat to the meat i'm always really scared about these things and as we know, of course, the salmon has quite some uh, oil, some grease. And of course, everything was uh, kept on the mat here. When you have such a fish directly on the grill, then all the grease, all the fat will drop down. And I would say it's that much healthier, is it? Yeah, this is uh, just what I think here. This is what I like with grilling, also with hamburgers and other meat, that all the grease all the fat is going down into the grill and then we have a result with less grease less oil which i really like on the positive side also to mention that this grilling mat didn't change the taste of the salmon i myself i never had salmon from the grill but we had some guests who already had some salmon from the grill and they were saying that the salmon was tasting really good very nice absolutely perfect of course we had it marinated for some time and i think my wife did a really good job so the result was not bad but definitely no color no real nice crust and we have been talking in the family about what we would do next time and we agreed that we would try to grill the salmon next time without the grilling mat i mean again it was not a real bad experience but i think it would be nicer to have all the grease and uh, oil uh, dripping down burnt maybe have some crust even maybe then getting some nicer taste so then of course the question if i would ever use such grilling mats again or not yeah i think i would use them again but not for any meat not for fish but probably only for vegetables because also vegetables when they are fully cooked on the grill they get very soft and they can fall into the grill and this has happened already a couple of times for me so now i stopped cooking some vegetables on the grill but with these grilling mats i could start to do it again on the other hand you have to be really careful regarding the heat if you have maybe your meat here and you want to give it some nice color nice crust and you want to increase the burner to maximum and here on the right side you have some vegetables uh, on these grilling mats and then especially in the middle where the grilling mats are close to the hot burners they could exceed the allowed temperature and then you never know what's going to happen could they release some unhealthy stuff into your vegetables uh, I, I really don't know if i would ever use them maybe just make the vegetables inside and all the meat even the fish directly on the grilling grates outside so this is what my thinking is my plans at the moment also one thing on the positive side regarding the grilling mats yeah i have to admit that it didn't change the taste i have already cooked some meat for can't remember for whatever reason on some aluminum foil and there i had the impression that it has changed the taste of the meat even a little bit i was really scared also changed a little bit the color of the meat so to some color which i've never seen so i'm definitely not going to use aluminum foil anymore but here there was absolutely no change in taste that's the positive thing but again i am not planning to use such mats uh, definitely not for meat maybe for some vegetables 
maybe also not even for that but i'm super interested to learn from you what's your experience have you ever used such grilling mats or are you planning to use them and for what uh, is it for meat or just fish or vegetables or maybe even inside for some stuff would be really interesting to learn from you what you think about that and that's it for now i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you like it give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time